we are in the Bronx right now. And it's pretty hot today. Are you hot? So I don't, I don't know if this lady thinks I'm a taxi. like it was 10 years ago it's a little bit more uh, kind of predominantly Dominican now before it was a kind of uh, when we first moved here it was a mix of black um, and Puerto Ricans now it's mostly all Dominicans Mostly everybody's double parked here. <laughs> so everybody's out and about. It looks like it's about to rain soon. Um, so it might be or might not be. Hello. From England. We have somebody all the way from England. So I always hated this little intersection here just because it's like so tiny right here and it's like what's the point of this <laughs> look at that car that red car yeah they sell like parts over here so they always have like cars parked around here that need work and then there's delivery guys that just don't give a shit about their lives This is kind of showing you guys like the inner boroughs of um, any other borough besides Manhattan. <laughs> so you guys are going to get a nice view of Manhattan when I do cross the Triborough Bridge. Um, for now, you're kind of just getting the background scenes of what goes on in all these other boroughs pretty much. Because this is like a normal day here in the Bronx. Sometimes at night it gets crazy, depending on the weather. Um, in the summertime it gets really crazy. Most people are out on the block sitting down, like if, if the sidewalk is their patio, smoking hookahs, um, blasting music. So that's kind of like a regular neighborhood in the Bronx. <laughs> And just pothole season has started. Oh. Did you see those potholes? Look at these. Ooh. So the kind of where the fence is, this is where the Metro North actually runs. And that overhead bridge on top, that is the Cross Bronx. So we're actually making our way to the Cross Bronx. I wouldn't be surprised if the delivery guy also gets on the Cross Bronx. Like <laughs> We've seen a lot. So these are called pasolas, which are like little kind of scooters that you would see all around uh, Europe. They're not very common in New York. They just recently started to become more common. Um, and then they were suspended because a lot of people were like going on bike lanes, driving on the sidewalk. They were going around everywhere on highways. So it was like really bad. Um, and they had suspended them. So now they're kind of 
making more they they even though they were suspended people around here were still using them um it's a very dominican thing if you go to the dominican republic you'll see like 20 people on one it's very very normal so it's now being brought here as a common use here So I am by 3rd Avenue and 100 and East 174th Street. So we're just going to make our way into the tri uh, the tri borough. We're going to take the the Bronx, cross Bronx. And the good thing about living by a hill, you will always learn how to park on a hill. My son is out in the front with me. He is now big enough to go on the front. He's um, he is five feet tall already. <laughs> so I'll show you guys. We're in a little bit of traffic, so we're here. There's my son. He's a little bit big for his age. He's five feet. Um, so he's pretty much going to be a giant. He tells me all the time he doesn't want to grow up. <laughs> So, he's very used to mommy driving everywhere and showing everybody New York City. So, this is the craziness that is trying to get on the highway. <laughs> it's always busy, yes. The Cross Bronx is always a crazy, crazy ass crazy ass everything yeah, highway well, parking lot <laughs> well the cross, this cross bank Bronx is kind of craziness and a lot of trafficness yeah mostly because people on this left lane they know that people are gonna you know come into this damn highway and instead of moving over they just kind of stay in that lane and then it kind of just slows down and the problem, the main issue with the Cross Bronx, it has too many um, entrances, not too many exits. So just coming from Manhattan, um, I think there is the entrance from the Major Deegan, then the entrance from the uh, George, um, the Washington Heights Bridge, 181st. And then there's the exit to Jerome, but then there's another entrance, which is this. So it's like a very more entrances than actual exits. So I feel like there's always a cluster fun. Yeah, like I just saw that fun saying exit 4A is coming up. Yeah, and that's the exit we're going to take. So you see after this, after this kind of like, it starts to go. And did you see that car move over? Yeah, they see everything. They see what we see. Well, not everything. They don't see to the sides. They just don't care. So we're gonna take this Sheridan Boulevard. And they call it now the Robert Kennedy Bridge, but I don't call it that, I call it the Triborough. been driving through here in a while just because I usually used to take this um, when I used to live in the Bronx this was my way to work so we are now in the Bronx we're on the Sheridan Expressway oh they finally finished this oh they put lights here this was not here before 
This was an actual highway. Now they put street lights. I cannot believe this shit. They put a damn street light here. I'm surprised, y'all. I haven't been on this highway, I want to say, at least about a year. It's been, yeah, it's been about a year since I've been on this. So it's, I'm very surprised to see a fucking highway with lights. Because this was like a true highway. They actually opened up it into a street. So that's kind of cool that they did it. So. And they actually made a park on the other side, which was cute. This was not like Wait, this before. When did they, when did they build the traffic lights? I don't know when, but it must have been within the last year. Must be 1999. On that side, more traffic coming. Yeah, because they're getting off on highway. So now we're going into a highway. <laughs> Hello. Ooh, traffic. And then you can see the that's the six line. That's the six train that runs on that. with the zoomed in just because you guys are seeing exactly what I'm seeing um, it's not as far away as you guys usually are used to seeing it so this close-up is exactly how I am seeing everything right now so now we're just gonna get on the Triborough Bridge a little bit of the skyline already. And I noticed that it when it's zoomed in it shakes a lot more. I think the test I think the Tesla is right there. Don't 
Doesn't it like tef Teflon the wolf don't go fast? I'm not sure. I think it goes like 199 miles per hour. Like, there it is. Yes. We just passed it. So now we're going into Queens. And from this bridge, we're going to be taking. So I'm going to zoom out here just so you guys can kind of get the whole city in there. Oh, wow, I see the airplane. Take, take off. Actually, there's two airplanes. One right there and one, one right there. Mm -hmm. They can't see the airplane, Romeo. The people on the camera. What's in front of us? I know. What bridge is next to us? That's the Hell's Gate one. It's for the train. The subway trains? No. The Long Island Railroad trains. of Astoria and then it connects to two other bridges which is the Manhattan one and the Bronx one. And then we're now passing Astoria. There's a train up there. to make our way to the Brooklyn Staten Island 280 278 west and we're gonna get on that and if you keep taking it then yeah you end up in Staten Island you'll end up to the Verrazano the Grand Central Parkway and that goes to LaGuardia Airport and if you keep staying on it then it goes to JFK Airport but we're not going that way we're going towards Brooklyn I wish I I wish I can go, go on a plane and go to Las Vegas you want to go to Las Vegas yeah. hey what's up yes I'm driving around today um, I have been driving around, I just haven't been recording it. <laughs> well, 
obviously because I've been I usually take the same ways I've always recorded so I went a different way different route so, so I said let me record it a little bit for you I guys just, I just saw some buildings say the QE yeah that's where we're on the Brooklyn Queens Expressway Bonanote I don't know if I said that right Everything is good. Working on the next book. Um, so for those of you that don't know, I do have two books out on Amazon. They're called a Bitten Apple series. And you can definitely go on there and get yourself a book. And they're all short stories about New York City. Yeah, so I kind of been just a little busy. I'm looking to buy an apartment, um, and that has been very trying. So, for those of you that are joining, I am on the BQE. We're making our way into Brooklyn. I'm going in the kind of like the downtown area of Brooklyn. So I saw, I just say the BQA bridge. <sighs> I still cannot say this damn name. Somebody showed me how to say it, but I still can't say it. So good until now. Doing so good.
is the plaque of the bridge. I still can't pronounce it. <laughs> and I don't feel guilty about that. So now we are in Brooklyn, guys. So we are in the Greenpoint area of Brooklyn. And then this was split up into um, the continuation of the BQE and then the Williamsburg Bridge. So what you're seeing in front of you, um, if this truck wasn't in the way, um, pretty much there's a van and there's a truck on the other side. It's Lower Manhattan and then also you'll see to the left of you guys, it's actually a um, downtown Brooklyn area. And then in the distance you can see the Manhattan Bridge, so that bridge that you guys see next to the van. On the left hand side is actually Manhattan Bridge. I'm sorry, the Williamsburg Bridge. What am I saying? So yeah guys, I'm pretty much stuck in traffic now. So I'll let you guys go. I hope you enjoy your weekend, enjoy your day, and thank you for driving with me. Bye guys.